All glory given to the Most High. What is good, family? It is your brother Jehoshaphat. Peace and blessings be upon you all. All glory given to the Most High, the Father of hosts, the Father of the heavens and the earth, and all known of creation, known to man. Over there sitting there believing on them scientists. All you got to do is trust in your Father because he has revealed things about this life that I'm telling you right now, family. It'll take people to gather up 20, 30,000 years and they would only come up to a small fraction, a small portion, a small minute fraction of his truth. So who do you trust in? Do you trust in the one that created all known to man? Are people who only got a lifespan of 100 years and say they know what they talking about? Now, on my peace and blessings to all my brothers in, in Yahshua precious name, Jesus Christ, for he is the Lord. Now, I messed up, family. I had that going on with my last, the last time I came back. Now I had got more time. So I'm going to go ahead and get into these topics for today. But... We're going to start at the top, and it's just going to be a little like this one right here. Let's go ahead and get into our topics for today. Peace and blessings be upon all my brothers and sisters out there in Jesus Christ's name. For he lives, he is the Lord. If you want to get some get right in your life, you need to go ahead and accept them. We can't fight this whole life by ourselves. We can't be the men and women that God wants us to be if we don't let God into our life. You know what I'm saying? How, 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 how are you wanting to be perfect and be that person that God wants you to be, but then you can't even let him in your life for him to justify and rectify the things that you do in teaching you? So, family, let's go ahead and get into the first one on the topic because this message right here, it will go on for a minute. So I suggest if you got something that you got to do and you got to go take care of it, I suggest that you put me on hold or you come back when you got some time. You know what I'm saying? Because this message right here, it might bleed over. I don't know, family. Genetic modified food is out and taking over. So the best thing you can do is to let Yah bless you in your body and keep it strong. Because what they put in the food, there, there, there is no telling we use to worry about pesticides but it is much more than that because they genetic manipulate they genetic manipulate genetics makes of of the cell and especially the characteristics of dna why do they have to tamper with what god has made perfect his perfect creation is to reduce the population to introduce new sicknesses and illnesses Trust in trust in the father and pray over your food. Look at me and this small story about what happened to me in the hospital. Now, family, like, OK, before before we used to worry about what kind of chemicals that they actually sprayed on these products. Because we didn't know, you know what I'm saying? We didn't know. We was all like, man, I don't know what they putting on the chemicals. I don't know what that is. You make one or wash that with some soap because you didn't know. But family it's much more than that now they are tampering with god's creation and if you know anything about genetics and cells and uh cell structures and uh protein and stuff like that they're getting down on the genetic level to make this food so there is nothing really i would say natural anymore because scientists are sitting there and they messing with the genetic makeup of our food now they're doing this i tell you straight up for population to control and they doing this to introduce new sicknesses and illnesses into your body now the best thing you could do because you're damned you're damned if you do you damned if you don't you damned however you want to look at this you know what i'm saying but the best thing that you could do is to let yah into father god into your life so he can bless your food now check out this story now at the middle of this year i went to the hospital because i had got some food poisoning from one of these restaurants from one of, i don't think it was intentional this time with somebody intentionally trying to put some diseases in my food and my food but it happened to me nonetheless and when i had went to the and and you you got to be nowadays smell your food i know i'm not a primal man or nothing like that i'm not but you can at least smell it and i when i smelt it 
it, it smelled kind of strange, but I continued to eat it and I only took a couple bites of it. But after that, the smell that came off of it, I'm thinking this is fresh food. It shouldn't smell. So I stopped eating it. But after that, I was sick for two weeks. Now, I was able to suppress and to go along, even though my body was shot. The most horrible feeling. I don't know what type of germ or infection that they... Man, watch these people in your food family. Not everybody is clean. It's, it's because they uncleanliness. I don't think that they was trying to poison me this time. But due to the fact of they uncleanliness and them not wanting to be up to safety codes, I got sick. Now, I waited 10 days before I went to the doctor. Now, these doctors, they pulled out 10 samples of my blood and vials about this long, family. It was a gang of blood. It could have been a pint of blood. And at the end of it, they was not able to give me an answer off of what was wrong with me, off of what was inside of my, of, in my body. They would not tell me what the disease or the germ or the infection was. They did not tell me that. But they going to sit there and they going to tell me, what God do you serve? So I'm telling my brothers and sisters out there, it's some stuff out here, germs and diseases. I don't even care if it's genetic modified foods. You have to have the father in your life to to heal the fruits of your body now them people were so baffled and they were so amazed that my blood that come out of my body killed whatever it was without the assistance of any medicine any anything i suffered for two whole weeks but it was nothing that they could give me to make my symptoms go down besides from how god has blessed our bodies and our blood family you know what i'm saying what's inside of us now the best thing that you could do is bless your food. If you in a situation and you got to eat this food, still bless it. Bless it in the name of Yahshua, Jesus Christ, and you will be all right, family. We don't have to worry about this genetic, genetic modified food. We don't. We don't. They already got us with the, pe the uh, what is it, the pesticides, and they was, they was doing stuff, trying to get us sick. It doesn't matter, family. It doesn't matter whatever they whatever the food that we intake as long as we got our father he's gonna purify it. and it, whatever the sickness that's inside of it it's not gonna affect us because we believe in the father so for you people who don't believe in God you should be worried right now I believe in the father I'm gonna bless all my food I'm gonna bless anything that comes into my body but that's I'm giving God authority over my food and whatever the disease in it. You don't believe in God. So guess what? You're going to get sick and you're going to be hurting. And it's all because of the world that we live in. You know what I'm saying? What did I tell you they trying to do? They genetically modifying God's perfect creation to introduce sicknesses and illnesses that we ain't never had. And the only thing that's going to keep you from getting sick and getting these diseases is for you to let the father into your life because he healed me. And whatever that disease was, he killed it out of my body because I'm a child of God. Don't be sitting up over here worrying about no genetically modified food. Bless your food in the name of Yahshua and eat it in the name of Jesus Christ and you'll be all right. But you better be loving the father so it can work. His power does not work if you don't believe. You have to believe in Father with all of your mind, your spirit, and your soul for his power to take heed over your life. So if you don't believe, then you're setting yourself up. If you don't believe, then you're setting yourself up for a fall. Because I told you right now, they knew. They knew what was what the illness was, the disease. And they wondering why my body is able to fight it. These people, these doctors, these physicians is going to ask me, what is the God I serve? Because they know the God I serve is the only reason why I'm walking and I'm talking now. What the hell did they put inside of my body? But, like I said, the Father, He heals. The Father, He blesses the fruits of your mind and the fruits of your body. Who you going to trust? Who you going to believe? You going to believe in them syringes and all them scientists and all that medicine that is, that's showing you daily, that is hurting and is killing people. Believe in the power of the Father and everything will be all right, my brothers and sisters. I'm telling you, as a living, uh, as a living testament of what happened to me. Now, moving on to the next one. The older of us, they fight, they fight, they fight off demon possessions better. It is far easier for an unclean spirit to enter into a child and a young person than the, than a than an older person. Children of the world, God, 
saved, save us. He saves us by his teaching about the Savior and the baptism. We prevent the entering of unclean spirits in one example. Okay, I'll give you the example, but what I'm saying here today is, okay, older people, we get to fight against the spiritual realm better. We were older. We got minds. Some of us, we know we up against it. Others, they try to act like these things don't exist. But far as a young person, young people can't fight against demonic spirits. Young people don't have enough strength. If you're not teaching your children the word of God, if you're not blessing and anointing your children and teaching them of of the unseen world behind the uh, the eyes vision, then how will these young people be able to protect themselves against unclean spirits? Older people, we fight against these spirits easier because we're older. We've been here longer. We know more. But any young person, if they don't have a strong dad or a strong mom or somebody's teaching them the word of God, then they're under attack, family. Now, if you don't get your children into a church, it doesn't necessarily have to be a church. You need to teach them the word of God, family. You have to teach your young ones, your little ones, the word of God at a young age. If you don't. You will set your child up for a demon or unclean spirit to be his best friend, to dwell with him or her in their life for all the days of their life. And then you wonder why all these children are so sick, committing suicide and, and having so many different problems in the world is because nobody taught them about the power of God. And, it, and they're more deceptible to an unclean spirit entering their end because they don't have no protection. It is your job. To teach the word of God to your children. You can't go to church and expect that your pastor. He's worried about old people. You have to take it upon yourself. To enter in. You have to enter the word of God into your children. So they can have that buffer of protection. So they won't be entered in by these demonic spirits family. Now a lot of people think that. Young people can't go to hell. Soon as and I have talked about it on my on my shows before, but soon as you reach the age of accountability to where you, whatever you know, what is right and wrong. So you could be ten years old and you know what is right and wrong. And if you're not choosing to serve God, God will still send a ten year old person. And y'all be thinking, oh, God is so mean. God is so no, he not. No, he not. That is his will, family. That is his will. His they parents have the right to teach their kids, but they was too much caught up out here in this world living, living for the world and not for the father. So in this process of them not wanting to come to the father and they have children, they condemn their own children for for evil demonic spirits to enter inside of them, family, because they don't have no guidance. They don't have no buffer. They don't have nothing of no instruction from the father to protect them from these unclean spirits. So a lot of people think that young people don't go to hell. I'm here to tell you, if you don't accept God, he doesn't care what age you are. You know what I'm saying? If you know what is right and wrong, then you you got the choice. You got the chance to go to hell. Now, young people, little kids, I'm talking about anywhere from three years old all the way up to 12. Oh, that whole age, they can have demons running in them. Giving you an example from his word. Now, um, Paul went to some city. And in the in the time he was in the city, he went around and he seen the people and and it was a, a young girl like six or seven years old that had an unclean spirit in her. Now, her master, her master knew that she had an unclean spirit, but the power that the little girl had is that she could see the future. So she was constantly feeding her master visions of the future, the demon inside of the little girl. To get to her master so the master didn't want to get the the demon out he he was fine that demon was papering up his pocket and making sure that he had money but the unclean spirit followed paul around asking who are you you know what i'm saying who are you and paul he rebuked the demon out of the little girl all the city and the master took them on charges and they kicked them out of town just for getting a, a demon out of a little girl. But the story stays the same nonetheless. That is a little girl who was possessed by a demon. I want you to think right now of all the people that you know and their children. What is inside of them? How do, why is it they act the way that they act? It's because they have something unpure from God inside of them that has to be purged out of them. 
You know what I'm saying? They need an exorcism. I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? But the more they trust in God, the more they let God into that life, he's going to push all of that out of them. You know what I'm saying? Out of them. So you got to teach your children the word of God or they will be possessed by demons. Ain't nobody exempt from this family. Just because it's a, a little kid doesn't mean that the evil forces won't take control of that child. It is so important for you to get the word of God into your children so you don't have to worry about things like this. Because a lot of people don't like to acknowledge the, the second realm that we in, the spiritual realm. And if you don't teach your children the word of God and teach them how to love God, it takes practice to teach them how to love God, then they will always have the chance for a demon to enter their in. God doesn't care about your age. God cares if you accept or you don't. Now, okay, let's keep on moving to the next one. We talked about the reason for the Holy Spirit a little bit of his purpose how you can receive the Holy Spirit and his job title and things that he does but in in this time let's talk about other things he does like the Holy Spirit speaks and gives us messages on our lives through through other children of God so you can say the Holy Spirit takes over someone or overwhelms them to deliver a message to help God's children he uses any one of us chosen so anyone that he chooses so if if it is it is a pleasure to be used by the Holy Spirit now this lesson right here God brought to me this weekend he taught me this this weekend and he said People are used by the Holy Spirit to deliver. If you a child of God, you will the, the Holy Spirit will 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 come upon you. You know what I'm saying? He'll come upon you and he'll make you deliver messages to other children of God. That's part of his message. Now, the Holy Spirit will sit back and he'll look at your character. He'll look at what's in you. And when he finds out what is troubling your heart or what you having a problem with, the Holy Spirit will ascend on somebody. And he'll use them as a messenger to tell that other child of God what they doing wrong, how they got to fight, what all the things that they got to do to uh, whatever the lesson is learned. So we are all vessels, family. The Holy Spirit uses us as a vessel to deliver different messages to children of God. That's what he taught me. So I noticed with my life that. When I used to when I used to hang around people who wasn't God fearing people, every time they start talking, family, I start telling them something that God said. You know what I'm saying? And my spirit was compelled to tell them. Now the speech of what I said it, I didn't I didn't know that that would be coming out of me. I was being used as a vessel to try to reach these people. You know what I'm saying? Now now in life. I don't even hang around people like that no more because I'm tired. I'm tired of being used to give them the message, but then they not receiving it. And then they turning around and being more worse than they was before I gave them the message. So I figured why hang around people that's just going to give trumple underfoot God's messages and still go out there and sin and give in to their sin and take a pleasure in it. You know what I'm saying? I only give my messages to, to people who need it. You know what I'm saying? God fearing people. They say I'm wrong because I gave up. I have not gave up on everybody. 